This is a range test of the Mihogo One e-bike. They claim more than 160 miles of range with dual batteries. There's a battery in there, battery in there. So we're gonna find out how true that is. And the website says 167 miles of range with the dual battery version. Let's get a starting mileage reading here. The bike has 37.1 miles on it. So that's where we're gonna start. Now, I'm gonna do pedal assist one and I'm gonna pedal. It has a torque sensing pedal system. So I wanna get as close to, you know, using as little power as possible to see how far it can go versus, you know, it's got a throttle and it'll do 28 miles an hour. So if I was ripping around on it, there's no way I could do 160 miles. You know, there's always an asterisk on these claims. So on pedal assist one, you can definitely feeling it help you up to nine or 10 miles an hour. And then above that, you really don't feel like it's giving you much help. So we're gonna be literally cruising the beach like a beach cruiser on this thing. Uh, me use my legs as much as possible to kind of help the battery out and we'll just see how far we get. Now the beach is pretty flat, but there's a lot of hills between me and the beach. So whenever I do 20 to 25 miles, I'm climbing about 2000 feet as well. And it's been super windy lately as well. So I also have to deal with that. It helps me going one way and it hurts going the other way. And this is what full acceleration looks like in pedal assist one when I'm pedaling as hard as I can and, and banging through the gears. Uh, if you're familiar with Trail Happy TV, this is his racetrack. I'm borrowing it for the day. He's one of the great uh, YouTube e-bike reviewers, so shout out to Trail Happy. But I managed to eventually here get it up over 20 miles an hour to 21 miles an hour, but I feel like I'm doing all the work when I get it really over 14 or 15 miles an hour. It, it really feels like it's all me. But it is possible in Pedal Assist 1 to do 20 miles an hour, at least for a little while. Stop and have a light lunch at the lighthouse. Uh, turn your phone sideways for the full scenic effect. Or if you're on, watching on TV, turn your TV sideways and then you can enjoy this postcard picture. And the aforementioned 2,000 feet of hill climbing, here's the toughest hill of all, right next to the beach, getting up this hill. It's steeper than it looks, uh, but it looks pretty steep. So in pedal assist one, in the lowest gear, I'm grinding up this hill. This is, I, I always use this hill in my videos and I always think, man, this is so long. Are people gonna stop watching? But I think it's important in every one of these bike videos to kind of show you all the way up the hill, just how this bike performs up the hill. So you can see I'm sitting down, I'm not out of the saddle, and I'm definitely giving it some effort, and I'm in the lowest gear. So I think the gearing on this bike is well done because at the high gear end, you could see me going over 20 miles an hour with it, and then in the low gear, you can see I'm grinding, what is that, six or seven miles an hour, getting up this super steep hill with no brakes. Not no brakes, no stopping, <laughs> no slowing down. The brakes are great on this bike. And so I think this is gonna diminish my range probably versus some guy who lives on a flat oval, but uh, I'm kind of optimistic for it after the end of this ride. So the battery meter has barely budged after 25.6 miles of riding on pedal assist one. But saving all that electricity came at a cost of 1,306 calories for me as the operator of my legs. Here's the battery after just under 44 miles. And I've started using pedal assist two because pedal assist one is just too slow. I mean, it maxes out at nine miles an hour. And I just want to get this over with. This is going to take me a year if I don't speed up a little bit. But so far, that's great. For more than 40 miles to just have that much of the battery move, that's awesome. And as I'm trying to run down the battery here, I've decided to use Pedal Assist 3 as well, especially today because I'm caught in the rain and I just don't want to be out there any longer than I have to be. So I'm using Pedal Assist 1, 2, and 3 in this test. And there's also really heavy winds lately with all of these storms in the winter. So I've gone 71.9 miles and it's just under half battery right now. We started at 37.1 miles and I'm at 109. And then finally, after riding 85 miles, you can see the odometer is at 122. We started at 37.1. The battery turns red. It's still giving me power, but it's turned red. So I think we're near the end. So I'll keep riding it till it dies. I've been in the red battery for about five miles. I'm riding off-road a little bit to see if that kills the battery faster. And uh, we're almost done here. So this thing just will not die. That little red sliver just stays on the battery. You can see I've done 147 miles. Remember, we started at 37.1, so that's 110 miles. And you can see this is throttle only in pedal assist mode two, and it still zips up to 12 miles an hour without me pedaling at all. So I decided to try to kill it with a pretty aggressive ride involving a lot of hill climbing. So the last 14.2 miles, you can see I averaged more than 10 miles an hour, and I did 
2,986 feet of climbing. And that was enough to eventually kill the battery. So here's the final number. You can see the, the battery indicator is flashing white. That means you're pretty much done. And I didn't want to totally wreck it and run it all the way out, but I think that once it flashes, you better shut it down. And so that's 158 miles on the odometer. So what that means is we've gone 121 miles on a single charge on this bike. So it didn't get to 167, but I'm close to 200 pounds. And I did over 10,000 feet of hill climbing and I was in pedal assist one, two, and three. So I think if you kept it in one, you could ride for a long, long time. Also, it's kind of a cheat code in that if you go more than eight miles an hour in pedal assist one, then the motor shuts off. So there is that as a factor too, that you can actually propel it above where the motor helps you. So you could, if you, as long as you got the legs for it, you could go forever on this bike.